Good evening. In Hosea chapter 5 and verse 15 tonight, we read, In their affliction they will seek me early. Losses and adversities are frequently the means which the great shepherd uses to fetch home his wandering sheep. Like fierce dogs, they worry the wanderers back to the fold. There is no making lions tame if they are too well fed. They must be brought down from their great strength, and their stomachs must be lowered, and then they will submit to the tamer's hand. And often we have seen the Christian rendered obedient to the Lord's will by straightness of bread and hard labor. When rich and increased in goods, many professors carry their heads much too loftily and speak exceeding boastfully. Like David, they flatter themselves. My mountain standeth fast, I shall never be moved. When the Christian groweth wealthy, is in good repute, hath good health, and a happy family, he too often admits Mr. Carnal's security to feast at his table. And then, if he be a true child of God, there is a rod preparing for him. Wait a while, and it may be you will see his substance melt away as a dream. There goes a portion of his estate. How soon the acres change hands. That debt, that dishonored bill, how fast his losses roll in, where will they end? It is a blessed sign of divine life if, when these embarrassments occur, one after another, he begins to be distressed about his backslidings and betakes himself to his God. Blessed are the waves that wash the mariner upon the rock of salvation. Losses in business are often sanctified to our soul's enriching. If the chosen soul will not come to the Lord full-handed, it shall come empty. If God in his grace findeth no other means of making us honor him among men, he will cast us into the deep. If we fail to honor him on the pinnacle of riches, he will bring us into the valley of poverty. Yet faint not, heir of sorrow, when thou art thus rebuked. Rather recognize the loving hand which chastens, and say, I will arise and go unto my father.